Hello guys and welcome back to ISS TV. Ayan. So ngayon ang subject naman na i-cover natin is one of the subjects of civil and railway engineering. Ang tawag sa subject na ito ay route or route surveying and earthworks. Ayan. At sa episode po natin ito, sa unang episode, ang atin pong itatackle ay ang tinatawag nating simple curves. Ayan. So magsimula na tayo sa ating discussion. Ano nga ba ang simple curve? Ayan. So ang simple curve po ay isang uri ng horizontal curve. Okay? Basically kasi meron tayong dalawang uri ng curves, ng highway curves. The first one is the horizontal curve and the second one is the vertical curve. So yung vertical curve ay uh, yung ano na yun, ang example nun is yung mga flyovers. No? Pag tinignan natin yung mga vertical curves, medyo may ano sila. Pag tinignan natin sila, may elevation sila, you know, may taas sila. Unlike dito sa horizontal curve, ang approach natin dito is tinitingnan natin ang horizontal curve from the top. Tinitingnan natin yung horizontal distances and yung mga angles na ano na related doon sa mga curves and lines na iyon. Okay? So ang ginagamit ng simple curve ay circular arc, no? Circular arc ang ginagamit natin kaya minsan tinatawag din ng simple curve na circular curve. Para i-join natin halimbawa, meron kang isang kalsada na ganyan and you have also one road na ganyan. At pag dudugtungin mo sila using a circular curve, ang gagamitin mo ay is isang circular curve na magdudugtong sa kanila. Isang part ng circle, yun ang magdudugtong sa kanila. Okay, since horizontal curve na ito, we will not be considering the elevation ng ano ng mga lines. No? Ang uh, i-consider lang natin is the horizontal distances and the angles that are formed from intersections of lines and curves. Yun, yun lang i-consider natin. So the elements of a simple curve is parang ang ano nito, the anatomy of a simple curve. Ano ano ba ang parts ng isang simple curve? So sa ibang references, hindi nila dinivide sa tatlong ano, sa tatlong categories as point, angular and distance. Pero sa ginawa ko at sa pagkakaintindi ko, pwede siyang i-group into three para madali nating ma-identify yung elements ng simple curve. So based on my understanding, may tatlong elements ang simple curve. Number one is the point element, number two is the angular element, and third is the distance element. Okay? So eto yung kabuuan ng isang simple curve. Meron siyang points, meron siyang angles, and meron siyang distances. Ayan, no? may mga points, may mga angles, may mga distances. So, kaya dinivide ko siya sa tatlo para madali natin silang ma-categorize. Okay, una, let's talk about the point elements within an, within a simple curve. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin point, hindi ito nagsasabi ng direction, hindi ito nagsasabi ng uh, distance. Ang ini, ano lang niya is position. Saan siya? Okay? First point na pinakamahalaga sa isang ano simple curve is the vertex. Okay? The vertex or the, what we call the point of intersection. Okay? So, from the word itself, intersection, kapag nag-intersect yung dalawang tangents, which is this, the forward tangent, and this, the backward tangent, na, nag-meet sila at one point, which is called point PI. Okay? PI na point of intersection, ha? hindi yung ano, ha? yung toot, hindi yun. Ha? Point of intersection. Okay? Our second point is the center, which is collinear with the point of intersection. Okay? Ito yon yung point O. No? Diyan nag-meet yung yung dalawang radii at saka yung itong line OP sa center dito. Yan. The next uh, point, itong dalawa na to is basically, ito lang naman yung uh, intersection ng tangent doon sa circular arc. Pero dinivide natin siya sa dalawa. Ano-ano yun? The PT and the PC. Okay? Pag sinabi natin point of tangency, ito yun. Okay? Galing siya sa curve, tapos pumunta siya sa tangent. Okay? Dahil ito tangent to, ito curve. So from the curve, naging tangent, kaya point of tangency. Okay? Dito yun. Ayan. So, mula naman sa straight line, mula sa tangent line, naging curve siya. So, ibig sabihin, from straight to curve, kaya ang tawag dyan is point of curvature. Nagmula sa straight, naging curve, point of curvature ang tawag. That is in, in this diagram, that is point D. Okay? So, yan lang. Yung apat na point elements dito sa ating simple curve. The vertex, the center, the point of tangency, and the point of curvature. Let's move on to the distance elements of a simple curve. So, kung kanina points, we're talking now about the distances between those points. Okay? So, let's start from the radius R. Very basic geometry. No? What is the radius? It's the distance from the center of the circle to its to any point on its circumference. Okay? That is the radius. So, in this figure, obviously, meron tayong three radii. That, uh, those are uh, line OB yeah, from the center O to the circumference here to the point of tangency B. That is radius 1. Dito naman, the line OFC or simply OC. That is also one of the three radii here in the diagram, okay? And the last one would be line OD from the center to the point of curvature, okay? That's radius. So, meron tayong tatlong lines. Ito yun, okay? Next natin is the tangent distance, okay? So, from the word itself, the tangent distance, it is from the point of tangency to the point of intersection or the vertex. And it is the same or it is uh, congruent also to this line DP, which is from the point of uh, curvature to the point of intersection, equal yan dalawa na yan, since they are tangents to this circular curve. Okay? Yan siya, DP and BP. Ayan. The next distance would be external distance. 
dito sa mga terms na to, medyo kailangan natin ng common sense para uh, matandaan natin sila. No? Pero susubukan ko bigyan kayo ng strategy kung paano sila matatandaan. Pag sinabi naman natin external distance, wala sa salitang external meaning sa labas. Sa labas ng ano? Sa labas nito, simple curve. Ano yung distance sa labas nito? Eh, ito, tangent distance, di ba? So, ito yon The line PC. That is what we call the external distance E. Ito yan. Yan. Okay? So, tatandaan nyo, external siya. Meaning, nasa labas ng circular curve. Kaya siya external. Okay? Okay, the next one will be the middle ordinate. Okay? M. Ito, medyo hindi familiar yung lahat sa middle ordinate at bagong term ito. Pero, madali lang din siya intindihin. Ihimayin mo lang sa dalawa. The term middle and the term ordinate. So, pag sinabi natin middle, sa Tagalog, gitna. Nasaan yung middle ordinate? Ibig sabihin, nasa gitna siya ng radius at ng external distance. So, ano yun? Ito yun. Itong distance na to. This is your distance M. Middle ordinate. So, dahil nasa gitna siya, middle siya. E, paano siya naging ordinate? Kasi, di ba, sa basic algebra, pag sinabi natin ordinate, it means vertical distance. E, vertical to, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, middle ordinate. Okay? Kaya siya middle ordinate. Yun, ganun siya. That's the line CF. The next one would be the long chord. So, in, kung babalikan ulit natin yung geometry, Pag sinabi natin chord, it is a line that passes through the circumference of the circle at two points. So, ibig sabihin, nagpasya sa circumference ng circle uh, in two points. Okay? That's a chord. Ganon. Line segment siya. Ibig sabihin, may hangganan. Okay? Kasi pag line, second ang tawag doon. No? Ito namang chord, it is a line segment that passes through or ends at the circumference of the circle, which is the point of uh, curvature and the point of tangency in this case. No? Ito yung long chord natin. Ayan. Ayan. Okay? And dahil binisect siya dito, equal yan. Perpendicular bisector ito, equal yan. This will be LC over 2, and this is LC over 2 as well. Okay? Ito yung R, ito yung T, ito yung T ha, ito T ito, and as well as this T ito, yung distance na to. Yan. And the last will be, syempre, ang pinaka, ano, pinakasikat na line dapat dito is the one that uh, makes it a simple curve, which is the length of the curve, LCU. Okay? So that is the length of the arc. No, from D, which is the point of ano, curvature, to B, which is the point of tangency. That's it, the distance elements. The angular elements naman, as the term implies, angles. Ilan ba ang angles natin dito? So basically, maraming angles dyan. Pero ang dami, uh, yung mga angles din na yan, equal lang din sila sa isa't isa. For example, the angle of intersection, I. Okay, so from the word intersection, yung intersection yan ng dalawang tangent lines. Yun ang angle I. Then the angle I, by virtue of a, uh, ano dito, uh, geometry, yung angle geometry, is equal also to the central angle of the circle, which is this. Okay? Equal sila. Pero dahil sabi ko kanina, this is a perpendicular bisector, ibabisect niya yung angle into two congruent angles, which will be 1 over, ah, sorry, I over 2 and I over 2 in this case. That is the angle of intersection. And then, the next one will be the degree of the curve, D. Okay? And degree of the curve, D, is the, ano, itong angle na ito. Mas maliit siya sa I. Pero, kung less than 10 degrees, ang given na angle automatically, that is D, not I. Okay? Kapag sobrang liit ng angle na binigay, less than 10 degrees, ang uh, standard, hindi siya i-consider as I. I-consider siya as D. Okay? Tapos, let's, ano, let's uh, discuss more about the degree of the curve. So, the degree of the curve is um, the angle, the angle formed either by a 20-meter cord or a 20-meter arc. Yun siya. Kung ano yung angle na to, kahit, ano, kahit gano'ng kahaba, kahit gano'ng kalaki yung angle mo, ayan, basta less than 10, magbabase siya sa dalawa eh. Okay? Yan. Kung dito ka nagbase sa arc, para malaman mo yung D, therefore, ang tawag dyan ay arc basis. Kasi, basically, you based from the arc. So, the degree of the curve is in the arc basis. However, if you base your D using the chord, yan, therefore, it will be called chord basis. Okay? That is that simple. That would be the end of a uh, our discussion about the elements of the simple curve. Isusunod natin sa second part ng video yung derivation of formula of simple curves. Thank you for watching classmates! If you have questions, clarifications, or suggestions, you can contact me at isstv at gmail.com or at tracel.rt at gmail.com. You can also send me a private message. Just visit fb.com slash tracel.rt.